Dark Blade Ascent is a fast-paced first-person melee roguelike RPG that is going to come out sometime in the future. We're going to have a look at its official demo that you can try out for yourself. If you want, link is as always down in the description of this. With this, welcome here on Just a Sec. What's my continued mission to show you an interesting video game? almost every day and with all the tags and all the buzzwords I just named I mean I love RPGs I like roguelikes and I am a huge fan of interesting video games in general and that sounds well in my book at least very interesting this game is currently developed by two very passionate brothers so very cool you know like being indie developers and releasing a game that's you have created your business right you are a development studio so working with family is always something I find very compelling because, man, that could have so much influence on your relationship if you get, like, a business involved, right? So kudos to that. Anyway, before we jump into the game, let's have a quick overview at the options menu. And one thing I want to point out immediately is, like, we don't really have any sound here in the main menu, which I find very sad. Like, we don't have any music. We don't have any background noises. Like, I see some torches, right? I see some leaves falling down. It's animated. So hearing, you know, a little bit of a torch flame and rustling leaves falling down. And there seems to be even some rain going on. Hearing that would be very great as well, if you ask me. But there's, like, there's a little bit, sometimes, like, a sound that I can't even make out. You guys might not even hear it, but hear my mouse clicks instead. So, settings menu, uh, quick overview. We have a bunch of languages. Well, two right now. Fair enough, though. English, French, show damage numbers. That's a nice option I like to see. I would still recommend to, instead of just uh, saying DMG, just write it out, because there might be just a single person that who does know that DMG most likely stands for damage. I mean... Even I, I'm very confident to say that this is damage, but it might not be. It might be DMG might stand for uh, decorative management goo. And I mean, frankly, if I know there's decorat uh, decorative management goo in the game, I usually want to see the numbers. That's why I keep it turned on. But I, I hope you get the point there. It's just, this is the minus of nitpick. Don't take that too serious. We have a bunch of like, video options, gameplay options, graphics options, resolution, vineyard mode, vsync, frame rate. Very nice to see that. That's the very basic that not even every game has. So that's nice to see. And some graphics options, image quality, anti-aliasing, shadow, texture, global illumination. Very interesting. So these are the default settings, by the way. When I, uh, by the way, when I booted up the game, there's also Epic. I mean, I don't have the highest PC, but at least texture quality and AA. I'm going to try and yeah, let's go with this. At least this should run. I don't trust shadow quality and global illumination. I'm not sure if my PC can handle that. But this is like the very least I should be able to run. Uh, I still, I would like to have some options if you highlight this to get additional information. But that's just, again, not too shabby. I like that we have those things in general. Three volumes for the... Uh, sliders for the volumes. My God. Three volumes for the, th for the sliders. Wait, what? Uh, anyway, mouse sensitivity, invert mouse, no rebindable keys, would be nice to see that as well later on, especially for like a fast paced um, melee FPS, which now that I essentially say this, one thing I noticed, there's no FOV slider. This is an FPS game, you don't have any FOV slider, and I'm a very, very... Um, careful right now because I'm also someone who suffers greatly from motion sickness which you guys probably hear me saying in every single FPS game I ever cover here on the channel but yeah head bopping is hopefully not turned on and not uh, you know that ga some games might have this turned on without any options and no FOV makes me very worrisome that I might throw up playing the game also, brightness would be nice, considering that we have this back thing. But okay, I keep uh, playing around too much here in the main menu. Tutorial is there. That's nice to see what actually happens if we click this. Okay, just, uh, okay, WASD for movement to attack, press left mouse button. Okay, it's just, you know, what keys does. F to interact, that's actually important. Uh, to use your ultimate abilities, press Q. Okay, fair. To dodge and attack, press shift and movement key to move in that direction. If you manage to successfully parry an attack, you can use pushback ability by pressing R. To parry an attack or deflect a spell, press right mouse button right before impact. That's a lot of things. Hopefully there is going to be later in the game a proper tutorial teaching you these mechanics. Because just reading this, at least it's there for demo, that's fair. But I would like to have more. Also here, uh, for button impact, uh, that for players, that's, there's a dot missing. I always, always see the missing dot. 
Regardless, let's finally play the game. Zack, shut up! Play the game. You don't need to use your pushback or something. Okay, there's gonna be different classes later on. Very cool. Pyromancer, Electromancer, and Toxic Mancer. We need to... Okay. This has is no quality rating whatsoever, but Toxic Mancer, I don't know. I feel like we need a different name for this. A Toxomancer or like Venom Mancer. So Toxic Mancer, Pyromancer, classic. Electromancer, okay, fair. We know what it's meant with that. And it rolls from the tongue. Toxic Mancer, of course, we know what uh, what is being meant with that as well. But Toxic Mancer, I feel like doesn't roll off the tongue that easily. So, yeah, take that. <laughs> With all the professional ability I have. Destroy enemies with high damage and set them on fire. Skills with fire damage. Makes sense. Oh, see passives. Okay. Area of effect. Impact damage. Cooldown. Next hit. Multiple projectiles. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, let's select the pyromancer. And we're right in the game. It's super dark. I would really like to have a brightness slider. There was no brightness slider, was there? Also, there's a little bit of music now. That is nice. No, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, what, uh, what happened here? Uh, look at this, right? I can do... Da, da. Let's make the settings menu dance. Oots, 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 oots. <laughs> also, pressing escape again doesn't leave the options menu, which not a big thing, but I just noticed how much I'm getting used to this. So, right to parry. It's not a black. Parry not ready. Okay, we need a vin visual indicator. Oh, it's in the middle mouse button as well. That's a long time for a parry. Wow. It's also so freaking dark. That's my sword thing. Also very quiet, honestly. Also, it seems like we don't have like a heavy attack, so it's just this. I can keep, um, you know, just hold down the mouse button for the same effect. Q. It's a fireball with a little bit of frame drop there. Okay, we're here. Shift to dodge. It's just like this. Take stamina. Tap is my stats. Health, stamina, dodge and parry. Parry cooldown, four seconds, my damage. Equipped weapon is the weak ferrum of steel. Balance attack speed, balance damage. Physical damage, 50 to 50. Nice. And fireball, we don't even have the stats for the fireball. Hello? Oh, there's the skeleton. Oh, we actually get a tutorial. Okay, nice to see. Well, I like the video. Again, it interrupts my gameplay right now, but uh, I guess for the tutorial area, it's okay. But I like that the video in-game video actually has good quality. That's not not as common as one should think. Press right-click to parry right before the swing is about to hit you. So the skeleton goes up, swings. There we go. Oh, man. If you manage to parry the attack, press R for pushback. Okay. Hello, skeleton. I am a friend. Ha! Wow. I tried to parry. Okay, not when they start the animation. They have... Uh, hey, buddy. So you don't want to attack me anymore? You're just looking at me menacingly. Huh. Oh, great. Uh, okay. Wow. I mean, good thing that these guys have a reasonably high attack animation, so you have time to react. But then dodging that... Well, uh, parrying that, I mean. Oh, man. Okay. Come on. Oh, I did, I did it! And it actually shows you on the mouse cursor when you can press R. That is very important. Otherwise, I would always forget that. Okay, that's doable then. Like this. Huh. Oh, I did it! Okay, it's generous enough. Like oh, There's already the other F to interact. I picked up a... Wait! Oh, it doesn't pause. Huh! 214. I have a new weapon. Pretty cool DMG numbers. Physical attack is way higher. Fire damage as well. Increased fire damage because it has a level 3... Thing. Okay, can I parry with the spear as well? Yes, I can. I'm gonna try it once more. Come on, hit. Ha! No, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, it dodged away as well. Do I get extra damage if I hit the head? I'm not oh, you parried! Not cool, dude. Ah! Ha! Got you. There's gold. Am I supposed to keep respawning? I think this is just the tutorial area, right? Parried! Okay, I attacked it instead of that. Okay. These guys just respawned on me, even. But not anymore. Oh, there's more skeletons all the way over there. Can I go here? Oh, there's something down there. Night. I said these guys saw me, right? Yeah. Uh, this flame animation on the spear is very distracting, by the way. Oh, also. Are you not allowing me to pick up this crossbow? Oh, that's just not cool. Seriously. Oh, Q to cast spell. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's cool. Okay, I'm just going to keep poking you. There's a little bit of head popping when I hit an enemy. Which, this is actually going to make me throw up a little bit. Other than that, FOV is fine. 
and the movement in general is totally fine. It's just when I hit an enemy, that is going to cause motion sickness in me. Can I climb up the ladder, though? Okay, um, poison damage. Probably don't want that. Lower, seems to be level 2 as well. Lower stats, and of course, fireball! <laughs> Oh, like this, this wisp tutorial. Follow the wisp and choose one of the three wands to open the way to the next room. Aha, so that's how it works. So we cleared the room, so to speak. That's also why the enemies respawned. Let's dash, so I can't climb up there. I can actually walk through the ladder. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's, this is the start from the game. Like it was essentially here. Okay, fair enough. This is the more skeleton. Now I kind of wonder though if this is where we started. Like, well, how was the camera again? Was it like this? I think it was like this, maybe. Hmm. Maybe you could have just played. No, no, it's fine. I'm just thinking out loud. I, my I thought was you could have just. Oh, there's even the moon. Can we have the moon in the channel here? Yes, we can. Haha. <laughs> so it would be interesting to have this like at the main as in the main menu or so. And then you hit uh, start, and then you're just right here, right in the game, so to speak, like a fluent switch. But that's just a weird thing, uh, thought, and I don't, I don't know. That would probably be surprisingly hard to implement. Also, again, why can't I pick up the crossbow? I hate when games do that. I, I understand why, but it still bothers me greatly. There's a weapon I wanted. Hello, Wisp. F to interact. Wait, before we do this, can I shoot this guy through the bears? Bars. Ah, uh, fireball! Okay, no, it seems like we can't shoot through. Okay, I have to interact. Ooh, that's a bunch of... Choose one of three, right? The effects are actually surprisingly... Uh, irritating. Increase fire damage. Increase maximum stamina. Increase pushback damage. I'm not that interested in pushback. I wonder if this has a higher rarity, because it's blue. Stamina? I mean, very important in the game. 15% increase, actually, or fire damage by 12%. We have the fireball. And we have the common land, so fire damage for us as a pyromancer and just in general is good, right? I'm gonna go with that. But all three, I see them as being reasonable. Deflect to Troy. Press right click right before spill impact to deflect. There's even shooting at us. Oh, it's this thing to deflect. Okay, cast. Ah, wow, that thing is surprisingly fast, considering how, you know, um... Yeah, wow, projectiles are super fast. I mean, if you get it, but they... I feel like they should be a little bit slower, but now I'm just... I don't know, for my taste at least. But it's doable. Okay, pretty decent damage. There we go. Got you as well with my fireball. Oh, is that another one or is that the same one? Oh, you look kind of cool. Ow! Not cool, dude. Not cool. I feel like I have to parry you, right? I have fire. And you? Ha! Huh. No. Ah, oh, parry. So, not my thing. Ah! Got you anyway. Level up. Oh, there's a few more guys. Ah! Not you again. Okay, push! Okay, push is kind of cool. As I see that. Like, parrying is not easy to implement in games. Especially, I mean, first-person games. I parried not ready. I forgot that. Ah. So... Okay, so doing, like, just, like, a little AOE push. Actually, a cool idea to, you know, work with that. Hey, buddy. Fireball! Ah! I got... But again, I th every time I think I want to parry, four seconds is just so, so mean. Okay, look at this table. Is this something? No. It's surprising hard to see. Okay, how about this one? This is level four, though. Way more physical damage, lower attack speed, higher damage, though. Okay, poison damage is also like, okay, increase fire damage by 16%, increase maximum stamina. Uh, I mean, yes. Because it also increases our stamina. Super slow attack, indeed 64 health, man. 210 health, yeah, in this arena I took so much damage. Is there any reason though in this game to explore? No, not so far. Do we take fall damage? At least not from that. Okay, fair enough. Dashes, arm, you can really change them together. Interact, oh yeah, treasure, I forgot. Increase lightning damage, no thank you. Increase maximum health by 30, okay. And this is a decreased parry cooldown by... Wow, 0 0.15 seconds. How kind of you for when it's already freaking 4 seconds, which is so much. I need health. Frankly, I need health. Hey guys, how you doing? Fireball! Oh man, we are super slow. Wait, what? Who? 
Oh, there was one behind me. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, did I dodge? No, I did not. Come on. I'm gonna parry. I tried to parry. Oh, I actually pressed R to parry. Oh, it's so, it's so hard to parry for me. Okay, what is this? Uh, level four, physical damage, increased light. Okay, I don't have time for you guys. Uh, firewall. Okay, at least one. Okay. Uh, push. Got you. Okay, got get the small fry first. Ah, uh, okay. I thought I wasn't able to. Ah, uh, one more hit, it's over. Push. Okay. One more hit. Come on, you keep running. No, oh, there we go. Okay, I don't have time to pick up. Firewall! It's over. There we go. Oh, <laughs> you, you don't even get a death animation. It just fades to game over. <laughs> but we gained some experience. They just completed zero crystals, collected two. Time to run eight minutes only. Total damage. Okay. There we go. Here. Damage. Not DMG. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, decorative musical goo. Management goo. I don't know. Forgot. Okay, access are slow. Oh, what is now? Coming soon, coming soon. Available points. We have points to spend. Okay, that's cool. Physical damage 1. Increase physical damage with weapons by 7%. Increase fire damage by 7%. Okay, kind of said that it's just... Yeah, it's always just uh, stat increases, which is the most boring kind. But I do like that you have a little bit of progression anyway. Also, I wonder if it's intentional that the window of this dead uh, thing is just all the way to the left right but not uh the top and bottom which is a little bit <laughs> it's a thing okay physical damage i mean fireball again let's go with fire damage okay play i wonder if we just leveled up the pyromancer or um, i guess at least in the demo we can only level this one up okay i'm gonna try once more one more time i mean we learned a lot right now fireball whatever that is it's better than what we have fire sword Okay, I also need to keep my mind. I can technically just press the button. Hey, guy. How you doing? Okay. Okay. Oh, push. Nice. Dodge. Okay. Better now than I have ever been. Fireball! Again, it's classic D&D &D tradition. If you cast Fireball, you really have to scream it. Or well, at least say it out loud, right? There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Four hits right now. One, two, no, no, two. Fireball. Let's play it safe. Did I clear the... Oh, I did not clear the area. Oh, there's so much glowing stuff, but I gotta take care of you guys first. Okay, let's take the range. These guys are easy. These guys are not a problem at all. Just gonna, you know, kite them a little bit. The guys that keep running at us, those are the biggest problem in the next rooms. Okay, got the stuff, so we did this, so we have a level 2 sword. This is a level 4 sword, which also has lightning damage. Ooh, balanced damage. I mean, it's level 4, right? More stamina. Increase spell deflect by 18.9%. What does that mean, though? Increase the deflect. Do you increase my time, time window when I can do a spell deflect? Or do you in increase the damage I throw back? Also, these gold bags, have they been there before as well? Common ferrums, common scarers of steel, level two. No, I think the higher level is usually always better. Also, we can't destroy barrels. I just noticed, which is a little bit sad. So it seems like at least in the demo levels are not randomly generated, because this is the exact same path as before. There's still this evil crossbow here. Anyway, let's get a reward. What do we get? Decrease dodge cost by three. Increase poison damage, yeah, increase lightning damage. I mean, we have a lightning sword right now. The problem is that, I mean, maybe blue has a higher rarity? I don't know. Dodge cost. Where do I see dodge cost? Currently 33 mana, like this. I mean, I'm not using it that much, even though maybe I should. Let's go with the lightning damage, at least right now. That should make our sword better. I should have looked at the stats. I kind of missed up on that. Hey, buddy. Okay, you're gonna do that again? Do I need to always look back at you to reflect it? Oh, are you kidding me? There we go. Got you. Okay, now the evil stuff starts. These guys. Not a fan of you guys. Gotta say. Push! Uh, you can do that too, huh? Okay, it's fine. Oh, I tried to block and it didn't work. I don't even see you. Where are you? Oh, there. Oh, uh, now it's so much more of them. Fireball! Okay, one down. 
Oh, come on. So... Ah, Perry went away. Ah, there we go. Got you at least. Also leveling up. Oh, hey, buddy. Is there anyone else? No. That's the most important thing right now. Okay, I'm gonna deflect the spell. There we go. Oh, still alive. Got him. It's not over yet. Ah, not these guys. You are the worst. Fireball! Oh, come on. That was still not enough. Oh, you really gotta learn these guys. Oh, man. There we go. Okay, first let's get the reward. Or let's see what we can choose before I look at the weapons. Increase spell deflect by 36%. Again, what does that mean? Does it increase my spell deflect window? Does it increase my damage, my cooldown? Increase poison damage, increase run speed. Okay, movement speed sounds good. What do we have here? Ah, the axes, I'm not a fan. They really are slow. This is another one, right? Maybe if it were like level 5, but not like this. Not like this. Ah, okay, the run speed sounds good. I just want to move faster. Hello! Oh, no, I'm actually going to deflect your spell. Oh, they're so fast. Seriously. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, fireball. Which button? Q. There we go. If you're in animation, you can't cast the spell. That is actually pretty mean. Now that I think about that. Okay, okay, okay. It's only this guy. <laughs> only. This is the most dangerous guy of all of them. Oh, I, per I know I pressed R again to parry. I don't know why this two-button prompt is too much for my brain, but it is. Push. Fire! Why do you attack so fast? What am I supposed to do? Are you now you're dodging as well? Screw you, dude! I have to dodge you. You're too dangerous otherwise. There we go. Oh great. Now yeah, you guys. Makes it so much better. Okay. Yeah, I gotta use the dodge just more. Oh hit them both with one attack. That felt good. Oh dodge! Fireball! There we go. Come on. Got you. Ooh. Okay, we survived. One more room. Also, no loot at all. There's an altar here. I would like to pray. Oh, treasure. Nice. I would like to pray to treasure and gold and all the martial material value. Because that is why I'm here. I only value money and fireballs. But you know, while well, you can get so much with the fireball, you can't buy things with fireballs. You can intimidate people with fireballs. You can set people aflame with fireballs. You can fireball your fireball. That's actually pretty cool. And, you know, during oh, love nights, fireballs are also amazing. But, you know, a little bit of money, not too bad either. Uh, anyway, where ha oh, have we been? We've come maybe from there. And the wisp was somewhere over here, if I recall correctly. Ooh, treasure. Gimme. Haven't had any use for the gold yet, did we? I'm almost dead, by the way, which is not so cool. Who puts up all these candles everywhere? You know, one day, I would really like to make a video game that kind of explains the lore of candles in dungeons. Like, make it a little bit silly or so, but then you I don't know. Your mission in the game is going to be to place candles in dungeons. You know? And somehow, maybe make that a roguelike. I don't know. Is this actually wrecked us? Oh, the chain doesn't wreck. A little bit sad, but it's fine. So we did that. Ooh, how far, much farther do we need to go down? Is it boss time? Oh no. Where's the wisp? I want the upgrade. Where's the giant crow that brings me back? Okay, there's the wisp. Let me out of here! I'm innocent! Actually, no, I fireballed a lot of people. That's why I kind of flee, uh, fled from my town and my city, you know? Because actually the king wanted my hat, because, oh man, so much happened there. But that's for a different time. Okay, gimme, gimme. What do we have? Increase physical damage by 40%. Increase maximum health by 10. Eh. Increase attack speed by 4%. I mean, we need... Physical damage is the thing with which we always have with our weapon, right? Attack speed is 4%, which is not that much. So I guess I'd rather take this. The Dursa Brute, the Dursa Unyielder, the Dursa Hurricane. Again, I like the choice. I would still like to see more things that are just... Well, different to just stat upgrades. It works. Stat upgrades are important in video games, but only having stat upgrades is always a little bit boring. I, am, I hope I'm not too, uh, too harsh on that, but you know, some cool abilities. Or every time you, you know, every time you deal lightning damage, there is a 10% chance that it uh, also hits, uh, the same lightning damage hits a nearby enemy. 
for the same damage or so, you know? Or every time you set someone a flame um, or you deal fire damage, there's also a chance to burn an enemy or, you know, as a pyromancer, every time you deal fire damage, you heal 10% of the damage. Something like that. That would be cool. Not just more, more of that. That's fine, but, you know, you could really do more. Okay, this guy's casting a spell on me. I'm a Jedi. Uh, it would be nice, actually, because it's so hard to aim this back to the attacker, to, to, to anyone, really. If, oh, fireball! If, you know, when you par successfully parry spell of the game would be but kind of just help you redirect that to an enemy, but maybe. Again, just ideas. That's just how I feel. I'm not a game developer at all. I'm not that smart. Okay, let me... You look kind of cool. Okay, got you. What's this? Yeah, an X level 3. You know, who wants an X level 3? Like, really? Oh, there's treasure. But there's also this guy. Mark Nemesis! So we meet again. Oh, come on! You still get me there? Not cool, dude. Me first. There we go. Did you just hit while you were dying? I'm pretty sure he did the attack animation there. There's also two candles. This is a burn, a burning hazard, by the way. Fire hazard. These candles, when they burn down... No, there's not even, like, a flame animation. Like, when these burn down on this barrel, it's gonna set a flame, and this entire stone structure is gonna burn down. That's just how physics works, seriously. Like, I mean, that's totally the canalization and everything is, you know, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a pyromancer. I only care about burning, and not about how burning works. D duh. Okay. Hey there. Uh, you are okay. I understand your pattern right now. You are okay. These guys are okay in general. Seems like they don't get strong. Oh, there's treasure chest. Oh, not you. You're not okay. Okay. Once. Twice. Hold oh, oh, Almost. Almost. He almost got me. Why is there still the wrist? I guess they spawned it there first. Uh, treasure chest contains a random weapon, item level 3 to 6, and a legendary crystal. Apparently this costs 371 to activate. Okay, so that's what we do with gold. Fair enough, let's go. Um, there's no button prompt, so I guess F? Okay. Open up, I wonder if this could be a mimic. Yeah, 3 to 6. It's a level 5 weapon, that's a lot of damage. Increase maximum health by 70, increase pushback damage. Ah. Oh. Ah, okay, it's just so much more damage. Is it? I mean, our weapon deals like 285. It is. More, more health is actually more important. But we're so slow, I really want to just one hit. No, no, I'm going to go over the sword, sorry. For every 100 coins you own, increase global damage by 2%. What does global damage mean? It's not your global damage, it's just global damage, which would tell me that it also increases the damage of, like, all my enemies. Not just mine, but everything in the game. Just want to double check if there's gold also. Okay, no fall damage there. Is there anything in this corner? No. I think I picked up everything. Maybe missed, like, one chandelier that over there in the corner were only candles. I mean, come on. New weapon. Gotta embrace the new stuff sometimes, right? Let's go. Ooh, choose an upgrade for your ultimate. This is what I want to see. That's cool. Decrease cooldown by two seconds. Next hit. After hitting an enemy, your next melee attack deals 200% more damage. Ooh, that's very cool. Fire two projectiles in quick succession. Also very cool. I'm gonna go with multiple ones. But yeah, uh, like that you have this choice. Okay, you deal more melee damage after you do this. This is, I want to see more interesting stuff like that. That is cool. Okay, what do we have? Increase attack speed 4%. Eh. Physical damage 14%. Increase global damage by 4%. I get global damage. I guess the game means that it also increased like my magic damage on the server, but I mean global, maybe also the enemies. I mean physical damage is just so much better. So this one, huh? Hello? Ooh, to the surface. Ooh, loading screen. So let's have balanced attack speed and balanced damage. That is true indeed. Alright, show me. Maybe this is a, you know, kind village. Where did we come from, this? Oh. Uh, of course there's enemies. Fireball double! You're still... Dude! Black Knight. He got me, I got him. Okay. You guys are slightly stronger. 
Back with the slider, I mean so much more. You guys kind of look like war, uh, mountain blade war, uh, war bands. NPCs. Okay, you guys are actually fine. My current oh, no, not the black knights. These guys do scare me. I'd rather dodge. I'm so afraid to parry. Oh no! Push! Never mind. Fireball! Fireball! Go! Wait! Don't you fireball, dude? Are you kidding me? Totally messed up my fireball there. That was terrible. Come on. Ah! Oh, no, parry again. It's too, too high risk for too little reward for me at least. I'm not skilled. I'm a bash guy. Bash kind of guy. Double fireball. So cool. Yay! Ragdoll. <laughs> I do like the ragdoll effect. That's fun. Okay, this is level 7. Okay, look at the damage. Yes, give me that, please. Okay, that is some gold. Okay, it looks like we can't go into any house. Would be nice to have, like, a hub world now that I think about this. But again, that's just, you know... Just a thought. I'm not a designer. Oh, we can actually get stuck here at the bench. Fair enough, though. I mean, yeah, works. Works, works so far. Anything else? No. Can I hit the lamp? No. Can I hit the door? That really looks breakable. Let's go. What is this? Increase maximum health by 30. Increase physical damage by 14. Increase poison damage, lightning damage, and fire damage by 8%. Shouldn't it be, like, maybe just, like, elemental? But maybe there's other elementals as well. But again, health, yes, but physical damage, 14, considering what we... Oh, I forgot. I always want to double check with my numbers and forget it every single time. Oh, great. Fireball on you. What if he does a double fireball? He didn't, luckily. Oh, come on. That should have hit you. Like, seriously, dude. Okay. Hello, Mr. Blue Mage. I'm just gonna chop your head off. Don't you mind me. Okay, is there more than him? Right now, it's just him. Hit you there. Dodge away. Hit you there again. Oh, yeah, right on me. Are you kidding me? Where's the black guy? Did I get the black guy? And I mean the black knight with that. Don't you dare. Just in a hectic mood. Where's these guys really? Ah, there we go. Got you, got you, got you. Fireball! Against fireball. <laughs> I have been called the fireball master. You don't stand a chance against my fireball. A single fireball. <laughs> you are a fool. Oh, you hit me. Oh, now it's personal. Now it's personal. How dare you hitting me with a fireball. What an insult. Fireball! There we go. That's what you get from that. Do we actually have like an XP meter? Like it says level up. And I guess I get like an instead increase. But we don't have XP. No, there's no experience meter. We don't know what else. So what does leveling up really do? It's not like we can really influence that. Wonder. Okay, what do you have? Come on, it's mission cool. Increase spell deflect. Again, we don't know what that means. 36% sounds cool on paper. Increase pushback damage. Increase fire damage. I mean, we are firebomb, so... Oh, hey, dude. Oh, God. Ah, oh, it's close off behind me. Oh, you blocked. Didn't expect that. Ah, I... Oh, blocked your fireball! Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, you're still... How are you still alive after double fireball? That's impossible. Impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Oh, man. You guy again. Ah, oh, come on. That should have hit. You really have to be so precise, which in combat is pretty much, you know, impossible if there's so many to do, like, such a precise, uh, precise spell deflect. I'm not even sure if I can still deflect, so let's play it safe. Just gonna axe to the face. Anyone behind me? No. It seems like the game... Can the game even have more than three enemies now that I think about this? Didn't really spawn in that many more. Double fireball, hit you. There we go. And there we go. That worked. Okay, mage first. That worked. Is there crits as well? Um, we, can we crit? That would be nice if you go with a, like, a fast weapon to also have an incentive to just try and crit. Oh, you got me there as well. There's something green there. Oh, that was just the weapon. Never mind. Yeah, it's always just three enemies, isn't it? The number doesn't really seem to change. Guess it's for, like, performance. But, I mean, I'm getting used to the three guys. That could also be completely misunderstood. 
Okay, we have this, we have that. Is there any kind of boss enemy, though? We cleared the first area, which, okay, might be the tutorial area. But, you know, like, some kind of boss would be cool. Some kind of challenge. What do you give me? No treasure this time. Okay, we have immediately get healed by 60%. That might be important. Increase maximum health by 30. Increase pushback. 60%, which would be... Pretty, yeah, I think I'll take it. There doesn't seem to be any other healing way right now. Oh, this guy again. How dare you dodging my attack? That is not allowed. Yeah, this guy again. Yo, treasure chest. How do you take so long to cast a spell? That's why I am the master of fireballs and not you. Uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna dodge that real quick. I'm gonna hit you in the face. Or just somewhere. Okay, let's try to... Ha! And you moved as well! That's cheating! You're not allowed to do that again. Ooh. I'm gonna hit you. And there's this guy. Fiber. You're still alive! Oh, oh this is not good. Ha! Okay. Whoa, frame drop! No, that frame drop just almost killed me. Are you kidding me? Okay. Hey, buddy. You look kind of cool with your potions and so. There we go. Fireball still in hand. Pew, shoot it! Shoot it! Ah. Okay. Weapon uh, level 6 to 10. Legendary crystal. Okay, we have level 7 weapons, so good, decent chance to get a better one. Let's go! Mimic! Aw. Okay, this is a level 10 weapon, so rare securers of poison. A little bit less damage, way more poison runner, increased run speed, and increased lightning damage, increased maximum stamina. Though. Okay, so that is still good. 492 right now. I mean, it's level 10, right? 492 in our hand as well. Pushback heals you by 10. Ooh, this, this is what I want to see. More cool stuff like this. Pushback heals you by 2% of damage dealt. Lifesteal. Now we have a very important reason to do pushbacks. Yes. Very cool. Kind of wonder if this could maybe be like a base mechanic for some classes or so to really force you more into pairing. Increase pushback by damage by 200. Increase run speed. I think these are meant to be a rarity. Now I definitely want to increase the pushback damage because now I have the incentive to deal more damage and, you know, heal myself of that. Oh, we had full life, by the way. Oh, where did you come from? I, I saw you before, but then you disappeared, dude. There we go. Do we even apply like a poison debuff? Oh, that hurt a lot. Okay, it's fine. It's not fine. Do I deal less damage with this weapon? Kind of depends on the. Oh, I. Oh, God, not good. Okay, I need to actually need to parry you for the. I okay. So bad. So bad at parrying. Come on, buddy. I'm so bad at this. Because you need to wait until they already started the animation. There we go. That did it. How much did I, did I hear? We had 101. Let's try. Come on. 108. And he attacks immediately back. Like six health. Wow. Oh, God. There we go. Can try again. Need to heal up. This actually might slow down the game if you really want to play like perfect. If you want to use these guys to then just heal, you know? This might take a long time. Oh, there's a mage. Ah, uh, mage. Of course there is. Level 8 spear. Let's go with the level 10 weapon still. Fireball. Nah, I just got the small guy. Not that good. What if you happens to... Okay, I need to uh, parry the fireball in a second. Because I want to find out if this also applies. No, because we don't deal pushback damage, right? It's the pushback that increases our health. There we go. Okay, fireball on you. At least one major down. Oh, got you. Two hit. Nice. What is this? Level four weapon. Come on, don't insult me. Haha! -ha! That did quite work. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought I would have an... a level three weapon with a single hit. Apparently, I was wrong. Some gold. Okay, anything else here? No. Okay, upgrade to fireball. Three projectiles. Increase AOE by 1%. Increase cooldown by 2%. Uh, 2 seconds, sorry. What is the cooldown right now, by the way? Boop, boop. Okay. Think it was 19 seconds. Now it's 17. It decrease dodge cost. Increase fire damage. Yeah, these are different rarity. Spell the flag. I mean, fire damage 36. Again, would be nice to see how much fire um, damage my fireball actually does. But I guess, I mean, that should work, right? 
Missing a few coins to open up a chest, I guess. I guess then it would recommend us to look around. Okay, this is new. Hello. Interact. Okay, what if I... I guess we just spawn this in. Hey, buddy. Ooh, are you boss? F to interact. Was I supposed to? There's a portal now. Hey, buddy. That's a shop. There's a shop in the game. Huh. Weapon. You could buy a level 10 weapon. Reroll stats. Up oh, upgrade the weapon. Instantly heal. Why did it take so long to get a shop? That's so cool. I actually didn't think there would be one. Instantly heal. I mean, right now. Oh, there's my health. Increase maximum health by 42. That's nice. The Hoarder. For every 100 coins you own, increase global damage by 2%. That's our one crystal we have. We could also... Oh, that's the same one, right? I'm pretty sure we have this once. What if I say continue? Yeah, we don't even see the crystals that we have, even though I'm pretty sure we have that one. So that would be nice to see as well. What do we have, like, in inventory settings? Controls? Oh, that was only in the tutorial. Ah, we can't look up that. Oh, right there. Uh, FQ? No, we can't. So we have player stats, but it doesn't tell me that I have this hoarder crystal. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I picked it up? Maybe I didn't. Upgrade weapon. I mean, technically, I don't want to keep this weapon, but I want to find out what happens if we upgrade it. So 200, level 10. I guess it would be level 11 weapon then. Yeah. So all the stats got upgraded a little bit. Which, I guess, in the next level, we're immediately going to find, like, a level 15 weapon. Increase maximum health, though. Very cool. That is important. Most important thing right now, I would actually say. Instantly heal. Can I attack you? I can, but you don't care. You have a single eye. A little bit of dialogue would be cool. Lore, so... Yes. This is cool. This is by far the coolest thing uh, in play so far. This could be our hub. Oh, we actually have a boss. Didn't expect the boss to be there as well. And I've wasted so much stuff. I didn't expect that at all. Okay, well, that's a long south, buddy. Size doesn't matter, though. It's the skill and the fireballs you use with it. Okay, sing a text. Okay, you have a combo. Okay, you have a freaking combo. Now I know. That's why upgrading weapon might actually be smart. Oh, you have poison now as well, huh? Okay, we really need to be careful if he has combo. Oh, where's my stamina? That really takes a long time. Okay, is there anything on this map we're supposed to interact with? It's this thing. No. Yeah. Fireball! Ba bam oh, Burning stat would actually be so cool. I hope that will be later in the game. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh, what is the range on this? Can you even... Oh, he's... Okay, only in a single direction. Okay. I'm gonna lose. Understand him now? That's the attack when you're supposed to attack him. But look at my stat... Oh, no. What, what are you doing now, dude? Are you healing yourself? Oh, you're spawning in enemies? Oh, that's always boring. Stop that! Push to heal. Oh, that's not even enough. I think my previous X was actually better. I'm not gonna win this at all. I could try to use these guys to... Oh, I tried to block. I, again, didn't work at all. I'm so dead. Come on, for like five health points. Give me. There we go. Is he always going to... How many guys is this guy going to spawn in? Like, seriously. I did like so... Not much damage. Fireball. And now you're just stuck there? Are you bugged out? I think he's bugged out. That's good for us. Oh, he's not anymore. Because, again. I mean, with this range, what am I supposed to do? do does my stamina recharge faster if I stand still? It doesn't actually seem like that. Okay, I actually managed to dodge that. This is when you're mostly supposed to attack him. Okay. Oh, that was actually his animation for, for getting out of the stuck. Are you going to summon immediately guys again? No, you're summoning poison from the sky! And sure, oh, there's some AOE dots as well, that's cool. So I gotta pay a little bit of attention, but that also means I could... Oh, never mind. Too much for trying to get a hit in. Oh, come on, summoning again? That's, uh... It slows down the entire fight so much. And last time was like five guys, I mean, seriously. And I'm dead anyway. Yeah, it's over. It's over. 
Oh, yeah, you got me. <laughs> no. Ah, okay, anyway, that was kind of cool. We did it. We gained two more points, which, again, so much more coming soon. I mean, fireball damage was important. Is there, like, a final? Fireworms have a 25% chance to apply burning for 300% of the maximum fire damage of three seconds. That's cool. But this is... I want to see more abilities like this, not as the final ability after, like, four stat increases, because this is actually cool. It's also only fire weapons, not the fireball, unfortunately. What about the final one here? Brute force. Weapon have 10% ch uh, chance to deal double damage. Yeah, give me, like, crit abilities. More of those. There we go. And now I get my points in the village. Look around, you might f find the money. So there also doesn't seem to be a way, like, I'm pressing escape right now to get back to the main menu. You uh, just get back over here. Uh, so if I, pre I press access, access to main menu. Thank you. Dark Blade Ascent, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first off, thumbs up. Yeah. I... Mostly enjoyed of what I'm playing. I just feel really needs more polish all over. Like also the like these black knights enemies, the ones in the black armor had the same movement set as like these well black knights here in the catacombs. So movement set already seems to repeat a lot. That's just different guys. The one the other one has a shield and a little bit more HP, and I think also second move, which is fine. But seeing that repeated immediately, hmm, we also had always just three enemies. I guess with a boss, maybe we had two enemies and the boss, and every time I killed one and new one spawned. It seems like, um, you know, I don't know, that's just many nitpicks there. Um, or not necessarily, it's just something I noticed, you know. The game always gives you just maximum of three enemies, at least three regular enemies. The boss fight, I like that it had so many different faces, like, for example, but... Yeah, that also seems needs to be improved, in my opinion. But maybe it's also only because I played it the first uh, for the first time, and I also met the boss for the first time. But there's the shop guy. I want to have more lore. I want to talk to him. I want to get some tidbits of the world because there's so far there's like no story, no lore whatsoever, which is always boring. Give me something. Pull me in into your world. I want to learn more about. It. I want to explore its mysteries. Why are we? Who are we? What are we doing here in this world? Why are we going into this dungeon, into the town, fighting this boss? Was, why are we in this world uh, weird portal world there where we interact with the stone and then something appeared and then there was the boss and there was the shop guy you know and also as I meant earlier with like give me cool more ways to deal around now we have the sword we have an axe we have a spear the spear was actually the most fun because it was fast but then again give me options to make like a crit build oh man this time I really want to go focus on the spear or so and uh, more spell variety as well maybe like the fireball was cool and that was the most promising so to speak but I want to see more as well is there so what I would say about Dark Blade Descent right now it's a good foundation it's a fun foundation and I love that it's I also think for like uh, only being made by two people. That's very impressive. That's cool. It's a great foundation that I would really like to see improved and polished up upon quite a bit. I hope this makes sense. But yeah, then it's going to be a great game, I think. Regardless, this is only my opinion. Please tell me what you think of um, Dark Blood Descent. Please tell me what you think of my presentation and showcase thereof. As feedback is always greatly appreciated. Stay awesome. Consider sharing the vi video. And we see each other in the next one. Truly, thank you for watching.